So, I'm going to do a quick video now showing um, where a little project of mine has come along and uh, how far along it has come. It's a little project uh, written in Python mainly using in, uh, a Raspberry Pi and um, a USB interface for an iBus in, an, in a BMW 320D E46. So this is the current setup. It's a USB hub plugged into the most important part, I suppose, the Raspberry Pi. So, that's how it's wired currently, is this 3.5mm audio cable is going into the back where the CD changer would be connected. And it's connected directly to the speakers in the car. Um, these four wires are coming from the other connection that would go into the CD changer, which uh, has the white wire, which is the iBus cable where the uh, data is sent. <coughs> so, the USB hub here is plugged into the Raspberry Pi, here. But uh, coming off the USB hub here is a charger for the Raspberry Pi, so there's just one lead powering the whole device and the hub. So here's the charger, um, here's the USB Resler's interface, and here's the memory card which has all my music on it, and here's a little Wi-Fi dongle. I'll show you why this is used later, but it can uh, it's currently broadcasting a Wi-Fi network for the car, which can be used for airplay, but also for a web interface I wrote to change the playlist and change the track for the car. I suppose, seeing as it's sort of in the camera anyway. Um, here's the old equipment I had, <coughs> Raspberry Pi, another USB. I blew up those once and I put in the power incorrectly from a, a fairly hefty charger. Essentially I put in the wires the wrong way and uh, blew everything up. So I'm going to turn on the Raspberry Pi and um, so there's a little flick, the switch on the uh, USB hub which is quite handy. So the Raspberry Pi is starting up now. Um, it might take a minute or two because I'm looking for an IP address for the Ethernet cable. Nothing should go wrong, but occasionally it does, seeing as it's still in development. When it comes up, it should write PyBus up or something there. And uh, I might turn on the little clown nose here. Because I'd turn off the light because there's an awful amount of glare from that. Oh, there we go. So it's up and the light came on. Ah, and it's gone away. So if I change this to the CD changer, we have uh, music. You can switch the music using the steering wheel controls. So, it's all good. Um, it's currently configured to uh, write the artist and then the track name by uh, scrolling it across the screen and then show you the current track out of the total tracks. You can switch on and off random using the uh, random button, which isn't on all radios, so you know it's probably best I write in some, some code to have this configured, but currently this is how I do it. So I'm just going to pause the music now. There we go, pause. And um, I'm going to connect the ad hoc network that the um, Raspberry Pi is uh, broadcasting. Um, I'm trying to look through the camera here to see what I'm pointing at and it's not very easy. So we are connecting onto or changing the Wi-Fi now from my home network onto the Raspberry Pi one. So I think to set up the ad hoc network is about four commands and I have that um, in a little script. Oh jeez. I have that in a little script which is um, run on startup. There we go, it worked that time. That's the first time I've seen that error, but that's that's what happens when you record a video. So, as I said, yeah, about four commands, which are just in a little script, which starts a boot. So, um, if I go into music now, I should be able to see the little airplay symbol. There we go, so it's coming there. So I'm just going to turn on the song here. I might already be connected to the airplay, I don't know. Okay, no, it looks like it's come to the iPad here. But I'm just going to hit the button up here. I'm trying to hit the button. The stupid fat thumb. Alright, so here we have Air Pi, okay? And that's the, um, that's the Raspberry Pi back there. So I'm just going to hit that. So I'll just give it a few seconds. There we go, so now it's, it's coming over the uh, car now. Which is nice. Okay, so I've connected onto the Raspberry Pi network as I showed you earlier, and I've gone to the address of the web interface. So here's the music library that um, is there currently. It's uh, done with bootstrap and data tables from uh, some other work I was doing myself in work. But um, you go to the library, it'll show you all the music that's available, and you can add them by pressing the blue button or play them now using the green button, which will add them and play it. So um, you can search as well, there's a search button up there. I, I don't know what's in there. I think White Stripes is in there now, so. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this while recording a video. So, put in the white and then uh, get rid of the keyboard. 
And now we have some white stripes. So I'm going to uh, play Hello Operator by adding it. Actually, I know it's already in the playlist, but I'll add it anyway, just the way it works. Then go into playlist. And then if I show um, 100 entries and then go to the last page. I should have just gone to the last page, actually. There we go, so it goes to the last page now. Then Hello Operator should be at the end. Yeah, it's around there. Close enough. I, I can't remember if I'm sorting this or not, but anyway, so here's Blue Orchid. I'm going to turn up the sound. And I'll try and hit the Blue Orchid play button. I got the wrong one. There we go. And that's the web interface. And we can also uh, play and pause the music here as well, so. Pause. Play. Next. It also shows you the um, some stats about the song that's playing in the corner here. And um, it also shows you the speed and RPM of the car if I was going anywhere, which I'm not going to do while recording a video. Um, that's sort of it. I do have a tab here for car diagnostics, but uh, I don't think I'll get much of that information off the iBus. I might need um, one of those Bluetooth gadgets to go on the DB2 or ODB connector, whatever it's called. I think that's sort of it. I'll add in more videos as the project gets more along the way. But um, that's it for now, so that's just a preview of what the code does. And Feel free to take it, fork it, break it, I don't really care what you do with it. Works for me, so I'm happy.